G'day YouTube, so bit of an unboxing video for you today. The glue come apart on the box when I pulled it out of the plastic wrapper. But anyhow, this is a Lixen meter. I don't know what that means. It's a single phase 65 amp. And what it really is, is a kilowatt hour meter. Just like that. So each flash is one watt hour, just like a uh, commercial commercial power meter. Might be able to get it out of the plastic without a knife. Hopefully it's got good instructions, but uh, this is sent to me by banggood.com. As always, there will be a link in the top of the video description for the product. Now the big win with this is it's DIN rail mounted like so let's see how we expose our contacts we got lift up there and lift up there must be a reset I reckon because that's got a little wireable have a look at the destructions. Come on, English. Oh, user manual. Oop. I'll explain what that flickering was about in a minute. The um, wiring diagram. Line in, line out, and neutral. So. In number one, so the far left hand side, out number three and neutral to number four. Must it's there must be a pulse output. Cool, all right. It says basic current five amps or fifteen amps. Maximum current 65, minimum current 0.2. That's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know when it would start actually picking up. Consumption 5 plus 1 digits, 1 watt hour per little red lighty flash. Alright, cool. 63 amp circuit breaker to protect it. Warranty void if seal damage or remove. Dimensions. Okay, well that's that's pretty simple to uh, put it in line and uh, see what something's actually using. Those two are just blanked off. It's an output loop. It should be the reset button. Alright, let's, uh, let's fire it up. Alright then, so we've got to wire it up. The uh, line in to the left, the line out to the right, neutral looped and earth rigged up like it is. No point losing your earth just for this. What we'll do is I've got a 500 watt LED trial, ah, LED, 500 watt tripod light out there hooked up. Should have been running so you can see what I'm doing in the dark. You can see it flashing away. Alright, then I've gone and turned these buddy on, so now there's two of them. We should be born about a thousand watts right now. And the reason my uh, camera started carrying on because the camera's set up at 60 FPS, 
and uh, what happened was the um, the head torch I'm wearing is controlled by PWM Pulsewick modulation and uh, it sends cameras back when it gets in direct light. I'll give this a minute and um, see what it, uh, see whether it has a memory or not. That's my big uh, big thing. I want to know if it's got a memory because it's going to go on the outlet of my inverter. It's quite easy to trip an inverter out. But uh, I think these are only 16, 18 Australian dollars, something like that. I'll be linked to them in the top of the video description so you can find them nice and easy anyway. Uh, if you buy one of these, I'll get a little kickback. Helps the channel out so I can keep testing these things so you don't have to buy them if they're junk. And uh, this will be installed in my panel on the outlet of my inverter shortly. So I'll come back when she's got some uh, numbers registered. Alright guys, there we go. Managed to get uh, 100 watt hours on there. I switched it to the uh, inverter because there's no point wasting electricity when uh, could use solar. So let's see what happens when we turn the uh, little unit off. Okay, it drops out like so. Cross your fingers, do you reckon it's going to come back? It's 100 watt hours. Yeah, it's got a memory. Alright, this thing's awesome. It was like 16 bucks, 18 bucks, whatever it was, under 20. Uh, links in the video description. This will be great for Bitcoin mining, guys. Put this in line to the power brick. You'll know how much power your rigs use over forever. You don't need them little plug in ones because these kilowatt hour meters. They're good because they tell you wattage, but they're also $20 to $30 each. This one's dead. I've got another one that's dead. The batteries go flat in them and they forget. These Arlec -like ones are a little bit better, but um, it's just a bunch of extra loose contacts that you're pushing in. If you want to use a couple of uh, serious mining rigs, this can take 63 amps at 240 volts. So uh, I highly recommend this for this thing. I just clicked over point 0.2, caught that on camera. So that's going to get installed into my uh, switchboard for my inverter outlet. Links in the top of the description. Hiking, hiking brand. Doesn't matter. All it needs to do is display kilowatt hours, and it does. Thanks heaps for watching. There'll be a link in the description. Catch you in the next video, guys.